The Media Foundation for West Africa has reported 62 incidents of attacks on journalists in media houses in Ghana in the last four years. Very fresh on the minds of Ghanaians is the murder of investigative journalist Ahmed Hussein Suwali. My colleague Wendy Laye has been finding out if such incidents cast a slur on the country's journalistic feat and whether it has international implications. Murder of investigative journalist Ahmed Hussein Swali may be a purely criminal matter, but Ghana's international image could suffer a major setback due to the incident. So far, some individuals, including the President of Ghana, international bodies, including Amnesty International and the International Press Institute, have condemned the incident, calling for swift investigations. A U.S. congressman, Henry Johnson Jr. has petitioned his country's State Department to intervene in the matter. But could the incident have any impact on the country? The brutal murder uh, has also you know, done us some dangerous um, PR, dangerous in the sense that uh, our image is bleeding profusely. The repercussions of this murder can ripple to all super not only economically can also report mm -hmm. to other uh, democratically politically unless something concrete is done to send the right signal mm -hmm. that Ghana does not entertain Ghana does not countenance Ghana is no place for this the dirtiest game in media practice would be labeled among the uh, unsafe countries you know one way or the other Unfortunately, uh, these kinds of blots, hiccups, make the country look like a peria state or that kind of thing. Uh, but I do not think it will affect the country economically very seriously because it's a one-off kind of thing. If it becomes pervasive, then we're going to have um, investor shock. Although Ghana's press has had a checkered history but moved on, what could be the impact on press freedom ratings? Well, it, it certainly would have an impact on um, our ratings when it comes to uh, press freedom uh, in the world and in Africa for that matter. Uh, I think the, 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 the level of uh, impact on the country's ratings would depend on a number of factors. One, if it is established, for example, that the person was not murdered because of his journalistic work, Two is what the authorities are able to do. Because if at the end of the day, the, the investigators are able to identify the perpetrators and you know prosecution is initiated and conviction is secured, then of course the country would have done what is expected of the state. We occupy the number one spots on the league table of free media systems in Africa currently. What has happened has a prospect of pushing us from the first stop or first spot to uh, something which we take the shine of um, our media record. The Ghana Police Service is expected to provide answers. Everywhere in the world, the miscreants are a step ahead of security service. A security public, we don't have it. And that is why the police find it very difficult, extremely difficult, to trace issues. But I tell you, the police have all it takes to get the cop. Let's have the patience for them, let's help them, and I believe that they will get to the bottom of this. The best way to help address the situation is for the law and order community to speed up the investigations into the matter and to deal surgically with their perpetrators. But for some, the unism of the media fraternity is the headway to forestall such unfortunate incidents. It's a matter of death, so it's such a high profile thing. By that brand alone, it attracts its own publicity. But other than that, if it were a slap, you know, an attack, or sometimes it is just the media house that is affected that you would find reporting. And even that, it wouldn't be reported as one of the top items or discussed as a major incident. And so you would not have the media picking it up and discussing it or reporting it as something that 
you know, authorities need to prioritize. And we think that is quite worrying. You should be united in, in, in championing the cause of Ghana, not the cause of a political party. If you have this, then you'll be supporting each other. Such things would come and you, in one accord, find how things can help in, in, in nipping such situations in the bud or pursuing the culprit.